Mrs. Coffee is Miss Sunshine, and how is everyone doing today? I hope everybody's doing well and blessed. Today I have went to Albertsons, and you know I like to shop on a budget. Well, I love shopping on a budget, and just to see what I can come up with something that was affordable, easy, quick, and simple. I went to Albertsons, like I said, and I got some ravioli that had on sale, and they had different flavors: chicken, sausage, and stuff like that. So then I have some leftovers, so I'm gonna add that to it and make it even more delicious. Flavor on top of flavor, on top of flavor, on top of flavor. Let's get busy. Okay, already I have my water boiling back here. I don't know if you can see it, but it's boiling. Uh, they got the, like I said, the raviolis, different um, cheese, meat, whatever flavor you want in it. And uh, they got them on sale right now for, uh, for something in a bag. But it's a nice size bag in this name brand. So we're gonna put them in. They only take four minutes. So we're gonna put those on right now. I don't want too many. Yeah. We're gonna let that be for four minutes back there, okay? And while we're waiting, I'm going to be had some leftover meatballs. So I'm gonna throw those in there too on top of the ravioli. So that's gonna be good. So right in that same bowl that they did, because they already cooked, so I just have to heat them up. I'm gonna cut up some green scallion. Using my kitchen shears. Makes the job even quick and simple on some vegetables. I love onions and garlic, so I'm kind of heavy on that. I got two stocks in there for myself. Put that in there. I love Prego, and they have them on sale at different stores right now, so I'm taking a short way. The, the, like I said, the um, ravioli was like $5. This was on sale for $1.89. Okay, so we're still under $10. A budget enough for two people. <laughs> okay. Um, and at Albertsons, they had the Cheesecake Factory bread. Oh, you guys, I love this bread. Oh, my God, it's so sweet and moist like molasses. The brown bread, dark, it smells so good. They had just put them out. I was like, yes, yes. And they had these on sale to keep getting them. Uh, they were a dollar forty nine. You can't beat that because that's brand. Then something else I caught. They had pies on sale for ninety nine cents. You guys at Albertsons. So if you live in the Antelope Valley area, the Albertsons on Palm Del Boulevard and Tit Street. Yeah, and they had pies for ninety nine cent. Can you believe it? I was like. <gasps> Pop. They had the green apple, Dutch apple, and sweet potato pie. So if you see this video, get down there while they're still available, you guys, and get those pies, 99 cents. Okay, so that's boiling. And I haven't seasoned my water. I'm going to season it now with um, garlic powder, onion powder. Oh, you guys, I got my back towards you. Excuse me. Salt-free seasoning. No, see, yeah, salt-free. Got all my and it's Italian flavor. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do right now until after four minutes. Then I'm gonna pour this water off and add the sauce and my meatballs and let it simmer. Quick, fast, simple dinner. And you can add mushrooms with this, whatever you want, other vegetables you like, broccoli, it's up to you. Um, get creative. Okay, and let's see. How's that is going? I don't even think it's gonna take four minutes, you guys, because when I bought them earlier, you know, I'm riding around the car for a minute, so. They're gonna boil really fast. Okay. 
Okay, that's looking good. Okay, when I'm having the prego sauce, I say yeah. And then my leftover meatballs with the onions is gonna be in there. Then I'll add a little bit more uh, herbs, this sweet basil, um, a little ground smoky paprika, um, parsley, and a little cilantro leaves. Just throw it in, make it more Italian flavor. I love that kick. Um, and on the side, a little salad. different varieties. I got the one that had the red radish in them, carrots and red cabbage, and then the Roman lettuce. Switch up on there. Did I drop anything? doing all the time okay less than 20 minutes dinner we're doing good six minutes <laughs> i'm trying to just take my time and go slow so i won't rush through it i was watching some of my videos you'd be trying i do everything myself so i'm going like ah i move a little fast and i'm going like oh i didn't have to go that fast but you learn as you go so okay you guys that is boiling this is easy for new cooks they can get this at the store and probably already doing it you know semi homemade and this is what this is semi homemade affordable easy quick and delicious and put your flavor on it. the herbs or spices you would like you can always infuse this with other flavors I don't want the pockets, the ravioli to bust. Oh yeah, that's kind of perfect. Now this is um, this is what I like. I'm putting a little butter in there. season the water so the noodles gonna be tasting good add a little butter to that oh that's it's gonna be delicious give the noodles some flavor you know that's why we tell people when they make spaghetti and you boil in your regular noodles don't be scared to add flavor to it add flavor to the noodle make it taste better and everything you'll love it love it love it so your noodles are not bland. Infuse flavor. You know me, I'm about packing that flavor on flavor. Okay, I think that's almost four minutes, you guys. I'm trying to take it. Oh, yeah. Okay. a little bit of this water off. I use purified water. Well, there's herbs and spices I poured in already. The onions and the garlic, the smell it, the seasoning. Pack only just a little water on, just a little bit. This is this is <laughs> Prego, you guys. I'm talking about ragu. 
Prego sauce and pour that in there. That's a good one. I'm not that good of editing no way, so you're gonna get it real. And as it comes out, mispronounced words. <laughs> Yeah, because that's how things happen. And I'm adding now in the meatballs and my green scallions. Okay. This is coming along really good. It's quick, simple. And how many, how long we've been on now? 10 minutes, see? Dinner is almost ready. And while you're waiting, you can get your bread together, which I'm finna do in a minute. Right now, I'm putting in the dried parsley. Just a dash or two. A little sweet basil. You gotta be worried, because basil can be overpowering. It's a little pungent, so be careful. Uh, cilantro, wake up the flavor of freshness. And a little bit more of the salt free seasoning. Oh, oh, did I put it? No, smoky paprika, just a little bit. There we go. I think we got my herbs the way I want them. And a little bit of more onion flavor, garlic powder. That's not gonna hurt. Okay, now we're gonna. Let this just simmer for a few minutes while we take care of everything else on the plate. And then, what? Dinner is ready in less than 20 minutes. It'll taste like you've been slaving all day because you're putting that flavor in it. So I'm not going to mess with that no more. We're going to let that simmer and do its thing. Mm hmm. See that sauce? Oh my God. That's what I'm talking about. Flavor on it. Okay, now I have some more Prego, I mean, <laughs> Prego left. I'm gonna say right now again. I'll say that for another, another meal. Okay, now we're gonna bring this over here. I have these Cheesecake Factory Rolls. They got them at, like I said, they got them on most stores. You'll find them, but these were um, Alberson, nice and soft. They just had, came in, they were unpacking them. I was like, oh yeah, I gotta get some of those. Usually I get the long French bread one. Oh my gosh, but they were out. And I know these had just came in, but I didn't see them putting them out, so I was just like, I'll go with the first ones I've seen out. Anyway, we're gonna butter the bread. I'm just getting one, that's enough. But oh, that smells so good. Okay, new salad, you know, I'm going with poppy seed dressing. House dressing here. You know how they said the house dressing? Yeah, my house dressing. Poppy seed. You know how people love ranch? I put, this is a substitute for my ranch. I love ranch. Oh, girl, like, taste poppy seed, it was done. Ranch was out the picture. Okay. okay, now you know to my salad, you know I'm going to add in my pumpkin seeds, cranberry. Up that plate, look at that. Healthy, healthy. Okay. I love 
blackberries. I guess so. One of those do I get from the dollar store? Because the cranberries are so good for you. I'm gonna put that on there. Oh my god. How many times we got? All right, we have 15 minutes. This is good. Dinner will be ready in a few minutes. Okay, we've got that butter. We got the salad going. Okay, and there we are already. Now I'll just put the pasta on there. Look at that. Uh, presentation the colors are popping you see the pumpkin seeds in there and the cranberry carrots red cabbage radish mm, healthy <laughs> okay oh yeah this is ready uh oh I'm just gonna pull this right on over here and plate this up couple of meatballs and ragu, ravioli in between there. Oh my God, presentation. And it would have even been quicker, you guys. You know why? Because I'm talking. That's how quick and simple and a little. Let's put on a little cheese on that. We got sour cream, cheese. And you know what? I'm gonna go with the sour cream. Put it, stir it up. Now you gotta stir it up the ones that have been sitting there in a minute and get a dollop of that right on top. Voila. And there we go, you guys. Dinner is ready in less than $10. And throw in some more stuff you have at home in your refrigerator that would... Uh, blend in very nicely and uh, complement each other on flavors and take them. Bon appetit. This is Copy is Miss Sunshine, and you guys don't remember, remember, treat people like you was retreating. God is love. You guys take care, and I will see you later. Okay, you guys love you. Don't forget to do what? Subscribe. Subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. How y'all, Mighty? How you doing, sweetie? Okay, love you. Mwah. You guys take care. Bye bye.